everyone, Miss Leah here from Language University, and I'm here with Allison from Carefully today. Allison, tell us about Carefully and that new app. Allison, you're okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Carefully, for those of you who don't know, is a great um, platform sh for sharing childcare, scheduling play dates. We also have great virtual events like this one. Um, it's only been on our iP on the iOS for your iPhone, but now we released the Android version, so you can download that now um, and make sure share that with your network so you can all um, take take advantage of it. Okay, back to you. Gracias, Allison. Okay, amigos, we're going to get started. Get out those instrumentos. We're going to do our Buenos Dias song. We have a story going on today. We have an actividad. So let's get started with our Buenos Dias. We're going to say Buenos Dias. We're going to ask, ¿Cómo estás? How are you? We're going to answer, Estoy bien, gracias, which means I'm good. Thank you. Of course it does. Okay, come on. Buenos Dias time. Let's go. Uno, dos, tres. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. Cha, cha, cha. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, amigos, we are going to talk about a story today. We have a brand new story. Miss Leah just wrote it today. And I'm going to try it out here today on Facebook Live of all places. Like, why not? And we're going to talk about an oso polar. Now, that's something we've already talked about. I will give you a hint if you're not sure. He is very big and very hungry. And he loves to run around on the knee and the yellow, the snow and the ice. Do you remember who it is? It's little oso polar. So we're going to do a story about an oso polar. So for this part, you can cuddle up, grab that blankie, grab your pretend chocolate caliente, give yourself some extra whipped cream, Woo! take a big gulp, not too hot, and settle in for our new story about oso polar, okay? All right. In El Vierno, in the winter time, we find ourselves in the Artico, the Arctic. Hace frío. It's so cold and it's covered in nieve and hielo. But that doesn't bother little Oso Polar. In fact, he loves the Invierno and he loves to walk around with his mama, his mom. Me encanta el invierno. I love the winter. Me encanta el hielo. I love the ice, says little Oso Polar. And every day he spends walking around, sliding around, and looking for the fish underneath the hielo. And he spends every day so happy. He loves the invierno. But one day, something started to change. When Oso Polar was walking around on the yellow, he noticed it was starting to get thin. And sometimes he would even fall through straight into the agua, splash, because the yellow couldn't hold him. This started to make him really upset. Getting wet when you don't want to be wet is not very fun. And Oso Polar was not happy with this change. He went to his mama. He asked his mama about why the yellow couldn't hold him anymore. Was it because he was too big? And mama looked at him with love and said it was because the seasons, the estaciones, were changing. In el invierno, in the winter time, hace frío, it's cold. But es la primavera, it's the springtime, and now everything is getting warmer. Okay, so instead of the nieve and the hielo, we're getting más agua, more water, más lluvia, more rain. And this made the oso polar frustrated. 
No me gusta la primavera. I do not like the springtime. He loves the invierno, remember? So this did not help the oso polar feel much better. Just then, Foca broke through the hielo, the ice. She was hopping around on the agua and the hielo looking for someone to play with. Oso Polar spotted her and she said, Hola Oso Polar, que tal? How are you? And Oso Polar looked at her grumpily. I'm not good. No estás bien. I'm not good. Por qué no me gusta la primavera? I'm not good because I don't like the primavera, the springtime. And this made Foca confused because she was very much enjoying the primavera, the springtime. I love the springtime, the primavera, because I can jump in and out of the agua and I can hide myself behind the hielo and then jump into the agua without anybody catching me. And actually, this made Oso Polar kind of into it. He was like, what? You can jump in and out of the agua without walking to find the ice patches that are open? Wait a second. Is this fun? And they immediately began to laugh and play. They were enjoying the primavera in their own way. So Oso Polar came to the realization Prefiero el invierno, I prefer the winter, pero me gusta la primavera. I do like the spring though. So he enjoyed la primavera all the way through with Foca. But something was changing. Also Polar could tell. Instead of having any hielo, the hielo started to disappear completely. Now there was just lots of agua around and also Polar had to do a lot more swimming. And I'm not sure he really liked it very much. No me gusta, no me gusta, he said. He doesn't like it. He didn't realize that the season had changed. He went to his mama. Mama, mama. And mama told also Polar, it's because it's verano, the summertime. Hace calor, it's hot outside. And now the agua is replaced, the hielo, the ice. So instead of jumping around the hielo and the agua, you're gonna have to do a lot more swimming. Oso Polar, not very good with change, said, no me gusta el verano. I do not like the verano, the summer. I want the primavera. In fact, I want the invierno. I want the winter time. I want to go back to the invierno. So he pouted for a bit until there was somebody else on his way. It was Morsa. Morsa was the walrus and she loved swimming and sunbathing. And when she saw Oso Polar, she greeted him with so much happiness. Oh, the verano. How happy it makes Miss Leah anyway. And Morsa said, hola, que tal? How are you? What's up, Oso Polar? And little Oso Polar was still pouting. No me gusta el verano. I do not like it. I do not like the agua and I do not like the change in the season. And this confused Morsa because Morsa was loving swimming and she loved the soul, the sun that had come out. So Morsa told Oso Polar that he should appreciate the soul a little bit more, the sun. And Oso Polar took a second and he didn't really wanna go swimming, but he did feel the light of the soul on him, giving him a big, warm hug. And Oso Polar thought, you know what? Maybe Verano isn't so bad because now I can swim in the agua and it's not so cold when I get out. So Oso Polar and Foca, oh, and Foca and Morsa all enjoyed the Verano together. And they every day seemed to get warmer. Every day seemed to be more fun than the next, but all good things come to an end. And soon Oso Polar noticed that the day was getting a lot shorter and the um, 
the season started to change, but he didn't realize that. He was just thinking it was getting colder. He went to his mama. Mama, mama. Mama looked at Oso Polar with love and she said, no es el, el verano. It's not the summertime. Es el otoño. It's the winter, or it's the fall. Miss Lee is just skipping. Es el otoño. It's the fall now. And Oso Polar wasn't sure he liked the otoño. In fact, he said, odio. I hate it. Od lo odio. I do not like it at all. I hate it. In fact, I don't want the otoño. And just at that moment, there was Gaviota. Gaviota is the seagull. And Gaviota was enjoying the viento fuerte, the really strong wind that comes from the otoño. Oso Polar called him over and um, Gaviota told him about how he loves the otoño. Me gusta el otoño. I like the fall he said, because he likes to fly around in the viento uh, fuerte, in the strong wind. And also Pilar thought, wait a second, I can enjoy a nice strong wind. I mean, anybody can, right? So also Polar felt the viento hitting his face and he decided to play. Instead of being upset about the season changing, he accepted it and began to play with his amigo. And you know what? The season started to change again. And our also Polar, instead of getting upset, realized that in, instead of being sad, maybe he should spend time with his amigos, his friends, and they can enjoy whatever the estacion, whatever the season is together. The end. Okay. Also, Pilar, that was really fun. And I'm glad that you came around to the estaciones because Miss Leah does not like the, the invierno. In fact, I do not like the winter. For me personally, prefiero el verano. I like the summertime. So what we're going to do is we all have different preferences and we're going to talk about those now when it comes to our seasons. So I'm going to um, share my screen and talk about an activity that we're going to do. Now, I would love if you share your activity with me because I want to see what everybody enjoys. What season do you like? What season do you prefer? So this is the one that you can download for free. And um, you're going to write in, you can either trace it or you can write it in. You're going to say, uh, fill in, que estacion prefieres, which season do you prefer? And then you'll fill in prefiero, which is I prefer, and you'll write in your favorite estacion. All the vocabulary is right here. You can talk about el otoño, the autumn, la primavera, the spring, el verano, the summer, or el invierno, the winter. Maybe you're like Oso Polar and you prefer the winter. So you're going to fill in your answer there. And then this is the best part, of course. This is the time right under it where you get to design what you like about that estacion. So for Oso Polar, he loved the winter because he likes sliding on the yellow and playing in the nieve. Miss Leah likes the verano because I like helado. I like ice cream. So what I could do is I could draw some helado. So think about what your favorite estacion is and then take some crayones or marcadores and draw what it is you like to do in that estacion. Okay, so you can share it with Miss Leah. I would love to see. I'm going to share with you my helado, which is like crazy. It's humongous because I cannot accept anything less than that. A giant helado in el brano. So we're going to finish today with our adios song. And then we're going to say adios for real. And you can download your activity and show me what season. Que estacion prefieres? What season do you prefer? Okay, amigos, instrumentos ready? It's time to say adios and hasta luego. All set? Ready yet? Get set. It's all that. Just kidding. 
Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós, amigos. Gracias por todo. Hasta luego, chicos. Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós, amigos. Gracias por todo. Hasta luego, chicos. Hasta luego, chicos. Enjoy your day. Hasta luego, Allison.